You know what he's doing? He's doing it. This guy's special. This guy's gonna be around for a long time. That's right, Shahadi, we're doing it. Let's roll the tape. Look at that load, hands, fire, bam. He's doing it. You're doing it, doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. He is doing it. <laughs> All right, whenever Casey's here. Yes. <laughs> Love it. We're getting better with age. <laughs> Thanks, yep. Hans. I uh, appreciate mind, that coming from you. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so give us a list of uh, Michael Waka doing it last oh, night in Anaheim. What was, about some other guys? He was doing it. I got, there's a lot of guys that are doing it, guys. I tell you what, <laughs> this guy here we go. This guy out here in Toronto, uh, when, I, when I was at uh, the Blue Jay camp a few years ago, we thought this is the bad boy. Oh. No, it turns out he's not the bad boy. He's one of the best hitters he's in baseball. Batman. Alejandro Kirk. That's what he is. He's Three. a bat man. Bat man. 306, 444, and four bombs in his last 10. Are you kidding me? Leads all catchers with an 854 OPS. Alejandro Kirk, you are definitely doing it. You're not the bat boy. Garrett Cooper, how about this guy out here? We don't talk about the Marlins a little bit. How about Garrett Cooper? My man, 302 average this year, 451 in his last 14 games, raking, dominating at first base, too. We love those guys. 138. 137 OPS plus Garrett Cooper. That a baby. You're Don't doing it. it. We got to get you in there. How about Trey Mancini? He's back, guys. 305 this average this year. This guy can flat out hit. 355 since the start of May. You got to be kidding me. Fifth most hits in the MLB. In MLB. Doing it. Trey Mancini getting it done. Luis Arise. Let's start paying attention out there in Minnesota. Leads Major League Baseball. 358 average and on base percentage. Hitting 423 in his last 28 games. This guy flat out barrels balls day in and day out. Luis Arise, you are definitely doing it. That's what I'm talking about. We go from Kirk to Arise. Let's get it this morning. <laughs> You make me happy. I <laughs> know, <laughs> right? You're definitely not the bad boy. <laughs> You're not the Wait, bad boy. Is that a true story? True story. Unbelievable story. I'm walking up, boom, <coughs> early morning. I'm with the I'm with the Blue Jays right before COVID. Mark Shapiro, CEO, Ross Atkins, we're walking up, and there's a there's a dude there, like kind of getting his stuff on. I'm like, and I say, like, hey, who's who we got going on? Is that the bad boy? <laughs> And, and, and Ross Eck goes, no, 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 that's not the bat boy. That's our number one hitting prospect. I, 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 seriously, if you see Kirk, you're like, no chance. He, right. he must be kidding. <laughs> but next thing you know, he goes, watch him in BP. So he goes, he, he, he barrels everything. So I, go, I pay attention to him. And he was right. Liner, Whoa. liner, Whoa. liner, liner, liner. And all of a sudden, hello, he's one of the best hitters in baseball. <laughs> raking. I mean, rake, uh, barrels everything. We forgot someone on your list, Wilson Contreras, who you've been yeah. spotlighting and noticing lately. Robert and I traded him before the show. We already I know, I heard you. <laughs> oh, you know, Look, there's a half a dozen teams, maybe even more, that could use Wilson Contreras right now. I, I, I perfectly understand that. Um, the Cubs, though, they're, they're looking maybe shorter term, yeah. and, and they want to build around him. This guy is worthy of mm. getting a team built around him. Leadership skills, yes, of course. Makeup, yes. However, you can talk all about personality and the way uh, you uh, conduct yourself in the clubhouse, but you have to perform, Kate. Yeah. That does not don't, don't come with your leadership skills if you're <laughs> if you're not polling, right? right? And this guy is absolutely crushing. We can arguably say that he is the best offensive catcher in baseball. Yeah. Um, so, are the Cubs looking to trade him? Uh, that would be. That would be just pretty much sending a message, we're rebuilding, all right? right? We're going to tear all down. But hasn't that message already been sent uh, or no? Partly. Okay. And, and I think maybe that's the way it works in Chicago. Like, you you never just tear the team down. You you right. still want to fight. And look, they're, they're playing. They got Ian Happ there. They got Nico Horner there. So maybe they're not that far back that they're going to let go of Contreras. It's just... This guy is special. And watching him play, even if you play him from three straight days, uh, Lauren, you're on a weekend, you're like, okay, this guy's the real deal. Uh, and he's been doing it and not getting, doing it and doing it and yes. doing it well. Yes. He was raised out in Brooklyn. <laughs> but he is one of those guys that if you don't watch him every single day, maybe he goes under the radar. Well, we shouldn't. We got to give him credit. He is one of the best players yeah. in baseball. And you mentioned the leadership skills. There was that great video last week where Christopher Morell's at the plate. Oh, he's yes. on deck, and he's you motions to him. How about hey, that? Yeah, that was breathe. awesome. Yes. Don't forget to breathe, and, and definitely a big part of what goes on in that Cubs clubhouse.